Oh, all right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to be continuing our nightly ramblings. Now, I know it has been quite a while, and I do apologize. I feel like it's been months, at least. It may just be a couple of weeks, but to be honest, I'm not entirely certain. Simply because of the fact that I don't know what fucking day it is today. And I haven't for at least a couple of months. So, so busy working on a great many things, but I'm sure you guys don't care to hear about that. You are here instead to be bored to sleep. And that is exactly what I'm going to do with the soothing tones of my voice, the chords of siesta. That is right. So, let us see. What about today? I'm also trying a slightly quieter approach. Let me know if you guys enjoy it, as opposed to my normal speaking voice from the previous video I did. Okay, so, I was looking for a, uh, uh what, what, what are they called? Uh, an alternator wiring harness that goes from the, not the solenoid, the, um, uh, fucking, what is it? Uh, trying to think of it. Uh, that goes from voltage regulator. That's what it is. From the voltage regulator to the alternator. I was trying to figure out what wires I had, and lo and behold, me, not knowing what the hell to do with electricity, like the most, the most study I've ever put into electronics, or into electricity, and in trying to uh, be an electrician or anything with wiring at all. The most knowledge I have is what I've gleaned from what Thor has talked about in the movies. Um, <laughs> so I decided to end up just buying a completely new harness because the, wire, the wires I had, uh, they, they didn't coincide with the instructions that I had. So I decided to say, fuck it. I'm going to pay to win on this little bit instead of play to win. Because it gets exhausting playing to win all the time. It really does. It really fucking does. Especially when you're farming for a particular grenade that just won't seem to drop with the mitosis uh, prefix. Because, hey, it doesn't matter how long you spend on the game. You want to know why? Because fuck you, that's why. I'm not mad, you're mad. Shut up. I'll get it eventually, though. Don't, don't worry. For those of you who are... Borderlands fans out there, you know, you know the struggle. There are some items that uh, are just damned for the eternity. Well, I was going to say of this game, but no, it seems like some items in this game, at least for farming uh, reasons, are just damned for all of eternity, both in the reality of Borderlands and our reality. Because they just don't seem to fucking drop. But again, that's all right. Because I'm eager to play the newest DLC. I'm waiting a little while, though. I'm waiting for a couple of my friends to also acquire the DLC. So that way, we can cause mayhem and slaughter together. Ah, nothing brings people together quite like violence. Delicious, wonderful video game Moida. Moida, I tells ya, Moida. So, with that said... Another thing that I was thinking about is I was thinking that I could buy myself a nice rifle, put a nice scope on it, like an, like an old, an old rifle, uh, and give it a brand new stock and make it into, and you guys are going to know, if you play Borderlands 2, a nice sniper rifle with not just a regular bayonet, but an extended machete bayonet underneath it, because that just looks absolutely phenomenal. I love that. I love it. It just, it's, it just screams genocide. <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it's so badass, don't you think? Clearly, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Surely, I'm not. Come on. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment in the section below of, like, if, if you had the money. If you would make your own real-life uh, Borderlands weapon. Just, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Try not to sneeze. Oh, sure. Hold on. Just, just a second. 
ASMR sniffing. You heard it here first. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I'm good. Hopefully, um, if you guys are wearing headphones, you will be able to hear the soothing sounds of my AC unit in the background. It's pretty soothing for me. At least, so I'm hoping this uh, type of ASMR will also be an assistant to you guys in, in order to aid you to run along to dreamland. To be able to ride sheep into battle. And a glorious battle, wearing a, a, a cape made out of your, your family member's quilt. Yes. And the stitching, the, the, whatever they are, the, the stitching the drummer stick, whatever the thing, the, the giant needles that look like they would be something shoved into a cannon and shot. The, you know, you know the needles I'm talking about. Those things that are like basically a staff. Yeah, yeah, those. Just riding a sheep, wearing your grandmother's quilt as a cape, with a colander on your head. And those knitting needles. There we go. Knitting needles. As your weapons. I mean, they're basically big enough to be a short sword. I mean, let's be honest here. Those things are weapons. Granny ain't just knitting, okay? She's stitching together a formula for death. <laughs> Alright, I mean, come on. Let's, let's be real here. You, you know. Old people are old for a reason. Uh, you either deliver the deadening or you get dead. And they... Oh, they delivered some badassery, all right. I'm sure of it. Oh, man. And speaking about that, um, did you guys see the video about the, uh, about that one dude? Like, the internet was going crazy about, uh, uh, fuck, it was, uh, he's a guy that was doing parkour, but... You know, he's got a, he's got like a, he's got a belly. He's got the, uh, gorilla daddy bod. Whatever the hell you want to call it. And this dude's just flipping around like he's weightless. I'm like, hot damn, hell yeah. I mean, shit, I, I used to be, I used to be a fat kid. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was 200 pounds at like 16. I mean, I could still run, just not for very long. Before, you know, getting really intimate with the grass. But I could run. But this dude, he takes it to a whole other level. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Hell yeah. Bam straight. Be a badass for the rest of us who have experienced that lifestyle. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. I mean, hey, look. Let's, like... I can't not have snackos. Alright? Snacks are marvelous, glorious things. Any kind. Whether they're grotesquely unhealthy or they are magnificently good for the body it doesn't matter snacks are snacks they are all equally elegant in their own way and necessary for life on this planet don't at me oh man oh i could go for some snacks right now actually you know what i could go for a case of gluttony right now as a matter of fact i could eat an entire pie oh man Oh, fuck. I don't want to sound like a simp for pies, but hot damn. I would pay for pie pictures so badly right now. Like, like if you could imagine, okay. Like a cherry pie, right? Or actually, no. No, hold on. I'm thinking. Thinking? Thinking. Okay, no. An apple pie, right? With caram caramel, because it sounds better. Especially with my voice. Caramel. Mmm. With caramel drizzled on top. Okay. And then you have these little pockets. Okay, so you know those caramel cubes? You put those inside of the pie. Just not a lot. Just a few sprinkled in there inside. So you have chunks of caramel with this apple and the cinnamon. Oh my gosh. And then, and then you have, okay, stay with me. For those of you who really do have a sweet tooth, who have a maniacal sweet tooth like I do, you know, it's honestly... A miracle that I am no longer 200 pounds. But, <laughs> but, okay. Whipped cream on top. And then, okay, this is the topper, okay. Maraschino cherries. Sprinkled on top 
of the whipped cream. The seedless, the stimless, just, just Emerald Lagasse, bam, on those bitches. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I could go for that pie right now. Oh. I mean, I know I'm into, like, trying to help you guys fall asleep, and I probably made some of you rather hungry, and I do apologize, but um, just go ahead and negate that, okay? Just pretend like that didn't happen. These are not the drawings or the pies you're looking for. Hello there. I can't, I can't do Grievous's voice, I apologize. General Kenobi, I, I, don't, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um... Man, I, <laughs> I, oh, I really want to do my, uh, oh man, I want to do my, my Yoda voice, but I can't do it without being loud. Maybe later, um, maybe I'll put it on my Instagram. Maybe I'll do it there. Uh, Kermit the Frog? Oh no, I can't do it at this level, nah. At this level of quiet, I, I simply can't do it justice. Um, should I probably can't even do it right normal normal volumes eh? but we'll find out later don't worry right now we're focused on boring you to sleep rambling on and just knocking the hell out hopefully I'm cradling a great majority of you to sleep like a quiet Mack truck or a very gentle gen gen gentle Dominatrix. Wait, no. I'm not female. Uh, gen... Uh, disregard that. Okay. Uh, point being... Am I the only one... Who remembers the angry beavers? I cannot be the only one who remembers the angry beavers. Now, there has been only one other person... I know a lot of people actually know who Billy and Mandy are. And that's marvelous... But I have only met one other person who knows who the Angry Beavers are. And it's a damn shame. They are marvelous, brilliant, phenomenal. I have other adjectives, and I could go on for hours. But we already hit the 12-minute mark, and if you are not already asleep, by now, then I apologize, as I have not done my job. But I will try my hardest and my damnedest in the next video. Don't you worry about that one bit. Don't you worry, you pretty pre pre I can't talk. I'm so sorry. Do not worry, your pretty little head. Do stay tucked in, head on the pillow, surrounded by pillows, or even stuffies, however you prefer to sleep, with the fan and or the AC on. Don't worry. I'll be back to hold your hand to dreamland or to obnoxiously keep you awake. Either one. The point is, if you're, if you're listening to this and you're enjoying it, that's what matters. I mean, it matters more to actually help you fall asleep, but... I'll see you next video.